Hi guys, welcome to Brand X Reviews. Today I'm going to be talking about the new Spider-Man film, which I've just been to see at the cinema, Spider-Man Homecoming. Now, I've been waiting a long time for this film, uh, about two and a half years since they announced that uh, Spider-Man was joining the Marvel Cinematic Universe. It was something that I spoke about at the time, and I had a few predictions, some of which have come to be true as well. But... Uh, I really enjoyed this to be fair, I thought it was a really good film, it was exactly what I expected, it was exactly what I always expected to be honest, I mean I'd always heard that it was going to be a kind of John Hughes style uh, teen, not comedy but um, obviously superhero film with a kind of comedy aspect thrown in and it did feel that way, the comedy element in this film has definitely ramped up in comparison to any other Marvel Cinematic Universe films, um, perhaps maybe Maybe the comedy is on a par with uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. The level of comedy, not exactly the, the same kind of uh, humour to it. But like I said, that John Hughes style uh, humour to it, which uh, for those who aren't aware what I mean by that, John Hughes was a film director. I think he passed away uh, some time ago. We did a lot of those kind of 80s uh, teen uh, comedies like uh, I think it was a Breakfast Club and uh, I think he might have done a couple with like, John Candy as well. But he did a few of those kind of uh, films. So, um, I think he did, I think it had something to do with Home Alone, I don't think he directed, I think he wrote the original Home Alone. So, um, that was basically the kind of feel that they're going for, a bit of a almost retro kind of uh, aspect to the kind of storytelling and character portrayals that they had in this. There were some of those kind of uh, cliche characters as well, like, uh, if you remember the film uh, The Breakfast Club, there's a character who's a bit of a kind of... Uh, bit of a head case kind of thing, played by, who was it, Ali Sheedy, I think it was, she was played by in uh, Breakfast Club. There's a character in this that's very similar to that. Um, so, amongst all that, you've got the whole superhero thing, which is really great, and it's kind of done in the backdrop of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, uh, the Avengers films in particular, because it has a lot of, it has a lot of Iron Man, but it also references Avengers Tower and what the Avengers have been up to kind of thing. Um... There's a few references thrown in here and there to Thor and Captain America. Uh, Captain America makes a couple, well, makes three appearances in this. Um, and I would say that they're pretty cool as well. As a, as a, I'm more a fan of the Captain America character in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And uh, the appearances that he had in this were pretty cool. Uh, you saw some of that in the trailer as well. But uh, there's a number of aspects I could go through in terms of specific plot uh, points and spoilers, that kind of thing. I'm going to try and steer away from that. I'm just going to kind of keep this video on to how I felt about the movie anyway. So, uh, coming out of this, a few of the other people I went to see the film with really didn't like it. Um, I mean, one, one of my friends kind of basically said, oh, it's not the best Marvel film I've seen, to put it mildly. Another friend of mine said it was utter shite. He said he's he's had diarrhea spells that have been uh, more enjoyable than this film. <laughs> and he's a fan of the Marvel films as well, so uh, I was quite surprised to hear that because I really enjoyed this. I would rate it very highly. Um, but I knew what to expect. I don't know if maybe that's the, the issue with some other people um, that haven't maybe enjoyed this so much. I kind of knew it was going to be more of a sort of ground level thing and not end of the world kind of plot to it obviously it's about a guy who effectively goes after people who steal handbags and uh, that kind of thing and people who rob grocery stores that's what Spider-Man is at this in this film anyway in this iteration of it I know in the comics he, uh, that isn't all he does but uh, at this point in time that's who this character is so that's what this film kind of focuses on and like I say, that's with the whole thing about him being at school as well. And uh, I think they really got the mixture quite right there. So that's my initial feelings anyway. Yeah, I didn't want to do too much of an in-depth review. I might do one later on with my co-reviewer. Uh, the core, who also reviews films, uh, did enjoy this as well. So we'll probably be on the same level when we're talking about this. So we'll probably do a, a video of this. I'm just recording this in my hotel room right now uh, in Leeds just after I finish uh, watching the film. I've got a fairly late show, and unfortunately I didn't get to see the film on uh, on day one, as I usually do for these. Um, there were quite a few of us going, so we had to wait a couple of days until everybody was ready, and uh, uh, it's kind of worked out that way, but uh, looking forward to the upcoming uh, Sony stuff that they're going to do as well. Uh, I'll kind of end on that basically by saying where I think the franchise seems to be going now. 
Um, it doesn't really line it up for a sequel directly. I mean, obviously, we know that they're doing sequels and this character is just kind of starting out, so... Uh, but there's nothing really sort of... In the next film, this is what they're going to do. There's nothing like that um, that I picked up on specifically anyway. So, um, what do we know? Well, obviously, Sony and Marvel Studios are working together, but that's only really for a, a few films in the future. So, uh, from what I understand, Sony is spinning off their own universe, but it's part of the Marvel Universe, and they've said that Amy Pascal at Sony and Kevin Feige have specifically said, because I know they've kind of been a bit mixed about things they've said, but they've nailed it down recently and said the Sony movies that they're going to do with characters like Venom, played by Tom Hardy, they aren't going to be Marvel films as such, but they exist in the same world as the Marvel Cinematic Universe. So the way they say it's not the Marvel Cinematic Universe, it's, but it's part of that existence, I would say that it's part of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. If it's part of the same existence, the same reality, that's canon. So it's part of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, just like Netflix shows uh, The Defenders and Iron Fist and uh, The Punisher, all that kind of stuff. All those characters on uh, on Netflix are all canon, even though you don't see them on screen together. So that's basically what the Sony movies are doing with these spin-offs, but it's going to be interesting seeing how they do the Venom movie without Spider-Man. Uh, from what I understand, that is actually the case as well. There's no indication that Tom Holland's Spider-Man is going to be in that movie, and I don't know how you get Venom without Spider-Man, so it's going to be quite interesting, to be fair. Um, but who knows what's going to happen after the uh, Inf Avengers Infinity War that's out next year. Who knows where they're going to go with that. There's a number of things that they can do. There's so many theories about where they're going to go next, and what, what they're actually going to do with that film. Well, there's two films, to be honest. So uh, I'm really looking forward to seeing these and really uh, can't wait. Um, so uh, yeah, I'm going to leave you there. Like I said, there's going to be a follow-up video coming uh, pretty soon, uh, hopefully, with myself and the car. So for now, I'm going to leave there and say check out Spider-Man Homecoming because uh, I really enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching.